Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about translations. Translations are very important because organizations use Salesforce and organizations don't just work in one country. They work in multiple countries. For example, right now you're seeing my Salesforce screen and this screen, everything is in English. But this same company might be operating in Spain, might be operating in Mexico, might be operating in Portuguese. So when those users log in, the users from Mexico or Spain or Portugal, when they log in, they want this UI to be translated in their local language. Luckily for us, Salesforce has made this very, very easy. And you can do this by simply point and click. You don't have to write any custom code, any custom logic, any LWC components. Everything is done through this interface. So that's what I'm going to show you. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll do some test scenarios. For example, maybe let's use accounts. And on the account, we are going to create a custom field, okay? Because I want to show you how easy it is to translate a custom field. So I'm going to go to setup and I am going to go to object manager and let's click accounts, account, and let's click a new field, fields and relationship. And then I'm going to click on new and this is going to be a text field. And what should we call it? Company. Let's actually make it a number. So let's go to the previous field. Make it a number. Okay. And then I'm going to say, call it last year revenue. All right. And then I'm going to click on next. And I'm going to make it, we'll just keep it as is for now. Okay, and I'm going to click on save. Awesome. So now we have, now that we have a custom field, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to setup again. So the first thing to do, while translating, you need to make sure that multiple languages are added to your Salesforce organization. And the way to do that, or way to check that is you go to company settings and click on language settings. As you can see, both these checkboxes are selected. If there are other languages that you want to add, for example, English, Australian, English, Indian, and there are tons of languages like Arabic and uh, Punjabi and Gujarati and, you know, Haitian languages, many, many languages that are available. You, all you have to do is literally click on this and click on add. For now, for the purpose of demo, I already have certain languages that have been added to this particular organization. So I'm simply going to click on save. And now our initial part of setup is done, right? We created a custom field. We have multiple languages that are enabled. I want to translate a custom field into Spanish or Spanish Mexico. Uh, the third step, which is the final step is simply clicking on going to set up and typing translate. Okay. When I click on translate, this is where I start translating things. So the first thing that Salesforce will ask me is what language do I want to translate this into? So I want to translate this to, let's say, Spanish, Mexico. Okay. And this will only give you a list of languages that were enabled in our previous step. The next thing it asks me is what do I want to translate? And Salesforce gives me tons of options. For example, I can translate action, address county, address state, you know, uh, button and link labels. There's data categories if you're using uh, knowledge. Uh, you have flows, pick list values, very commonly used for translations. But in this case, all I want to do is I want to translate the custom field, the new custom field that we have used. So I'm going to go here to custom field and I want to translate only the field label. Again, I have multiple options available here. Right, I can translate the label of the field. I can translate it, translate the help text, and so on. Um, we are going to use account for translation, but again, every standard custom object is available in this dropdown. Um, let's look for the new field that we created, which was the last year's revenue. So I'm going to go here. I believe it was called. Let's see, revenue. Some of these fields are already translated, so you can ignore that. Why don't I see the value? 
let's see there you go so this is the field that we just created so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on google translate and uh what did we choose here choose spanish mexico so i'm going to just want to go here and i'm going to say i want spanish Do we not have spanish mexico let's type mexico no maybe let's just use spanish for now so i'm going to use spanish here and i'm going to copy this value last year's revenue generated okay so i'm going to say last year revenue okay google will give me the translated version all i'm doing is simply copying it double clicking here and pasting it and click on save okay that's it so let's test this out before we do i'm going to do something i'm going to go to account and i am going to go to page layouts i'm going to go to this account and then i'm going to place this field on the top of the page that's all i'm going to do okay last year revenue which is this so i'm just going to place this place this above this okay so let's test this out right now i am seeing everything is everything in english for one specific reason the reason is if i go to my user profile so let's click user and user detail so when i go here you will notice my where is my language my language is set to english okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this to spanish mexico and then we will test this field all right so i'm going to go here and i am going to choose what was it spanish mexico espanol mexico i mean Spanish, Mexico, Spanish, Latinx, and I'm going to click on save. It's going to update all the records, and then, okay, my user record has been updated. So now, let's go to accounts. If I refresh this, I will start seeing a lot of these components in English. You can see this. google translate right everything is in is in spanish so let's go to accounts actually how do we go back to accounts maybe let's go back here and click on this because i can't read spanish so i don't know what it would say so let's go back here taking a bit of time oops okay and there you go this is the field that we placed above the account name the last year's revenue and why do i know this is the correct one this is it right so it is this easy to change the language on a user i hope you find this video helpful again try this out in your own sandbox environment like you saw there are three steps one is make sure it has multiple languages second add the languages that you want to translate third go to set up click on translate and choose whatever you want to translate again you have tons of options choose the object all you have to do is copy and paste click on save that's it your translation is done hope you enjoy this video and i will see you soon